Hey guys, it's John from CADSpace, and today what I wanted to talk to you about is an introduction to SOLIDWORKS Composer. So SOLIDWORKS Composer is a standalone technical communication tool, and it handles all of your documentation, whether it be uh, 3D PDF instruction manuals, interactive views like you can see here, bill of materials, or even animations. So basically what we're going to do is a three-step process. Firstly, we're going to import our CAD data into Composer. Secondly, we can create and modify views such as cover images, exploded views, bill of materials, and finally we can publish that 2D or 3D intelligent content, which can then quickly and easily be updated. So let's jump into SOLIDWORKS and see how we can actually export a assembly into SOLIDWORKS Composer. So I've got this universal joint assembly here, and if I go up to File, Save As, Save As Type, and I'll select SOLIDWORKS Composer or .SMG. That's going to save us a lot of time later on when we import it, instead of having to go through the whole conversion process. So to import in Composer now, we'll go File, Open, and we'll select that SMG document we just saved out of SOLIDWORKS. I'll go ahead and open that. The first thing I want to do is create a new view. So over here in the Views tab on the left, I'll create a new view, and I'm going to rename this to Default. This is going to allow me to snap back to the default settings at any time. So what I want to do now is create another view, and we're going to rename this one to Explode. I'll rearrange my model a little bit, just like how you do it in SOLIDWORKS, and what I want to do is come up here to the Transform tab, click on Translate, and I'm going to start exploding some of these parts out just like so. If I want, I can add some explode lines on the Author tab up in the top left. But for now, I'm just going to explode it out just for this simple example. So something like this is starting to look pretty good. Maybe I'll just bring this pin out here to the side somewhere or just further down. And that looks all right. So what I want to do is actually change the render quality of this. So on the Render tab, I'll change the mode, and I'm going to select a flat technical style. I'll click on this little button here to update the view, and we're going to go ahead and click on create view for one last view. We'll rename this to bomb for bill of materials, and we're going to go ahead and create a bill of materials now. So under the workshops tab, we'll click on bill of materials, and I'm going to select all of the parts with control A on my keyboard. Let's click on Generate BOM IDs to generate an ID for each one of these parts that we've got on the screen. And we'll say Create Callouts. Down the bottom here, there's Show slash Hide BOM Table. So we'll go ahead and click on that. And if we click on the BOM Table, we can change the size over here on the left to make it a little bit bigger. We can also change the position. So instead of snapping to the bottom, we'll say Free. And we're free to drag this wherever we please. I'll just place it over here on the left like so. Finally, I'll click on the Views tab, click Update one last time, and we're ready to publish this bill of materials. So we'll go to the Technical Illustration Workshop, and what we want to do is click on Save As. We've also got some options down here for more advanced settings, but that's more of an advanced feature, so we'll just Save As for now. And I'll save this as Universal Joint underscore bill of materials. I'll jump into Windows Explorer now and let's take a look at our bill of materials. So as you can see we've got a nice silhouette two shaded uh, content over here on the right. You can see that when I mouse over any of these BOM IDs it comes up with hotspots showing that it's interactive content and overall it was quickly and easily it's quick and easy to create this content and it's really nice to look at. So the last thing I want to show you guys is how SOLIDWORKS Composer handles design changes. So back in SOLIDWORKS, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the color of this knob, maybe from a red. We're going to change the appearance of this to, let's say, a blue. I'll say apply at part com uh, document level and click OK to apply that. And let's change this blue to maybe a red. Appearance, let's select a nice red. 
Once again, apply at part document level. Click OK to confirm. And finally, let's change the geometry of this, uh, this crank arm. So I'll say edit component. You can see I've got a sketch set up here from earlier. I'll just go extruded cut up to next. And that's looking pretty good for some of my design changes. So to demonstrate this, I'll go File, Save As, come back down here to Save As Type, and we'll select SolidWorks Composer SMG one last time. And we're going to save directly on top of our original SMG document. It asks, do you want to replace it? We'll go ahead and click Yes. Let's jump back into SolidWorks Composer finally one last time. And to take a look at these design changes, what we want to do is come up here to File, We'll say update SolidWorks Composer document and we'll browse to the file that we just saved. Click on update. So as you can see, all of my views have been updated quickly and easily. They've maintained all of their references, but all of the design changes that we intended in SolidWorks have been updated and they'll aut automatically propagate through to our SolidWorks Composer content. So this has been a quick introduction to SolidWorks Composer with John from CAD Space, and thanks for watching.